There are two simple ways to contribute to superannuation. The first way is by making a concessional contribution, also called a before-tax contribution. It's called a before-tax contribution because the contributions are paid by your employer directly to your super fund before they put your pay in your bank account. There are three popular ways to make before-tax contributions. The first is part of the super guarantee. This is mandatory and must be paid by the employer for most adult employees. A salary sacrifice arrangement can be used to make a before-tax contribution. This is set up by you and your employer. Finally, you may be able to make personal contributions to super from your own pocket and claim a tax deduction. For example, Beth works full-time earning $50,000 a year plus super. Because Beth is an employee, her employer pays the mandatory super guarantee into the super fund she chose when she began work with the employer. After speaking with her accountant, she realizes she can contribute more money to super without going over the yearly contribution limits. So Beth arranges a salary sacrifice with her employer for an additional $5,000 to go into a super fund. In addition, she wants to make a one-off $1,000 contribution to super, for which she will claim a tax deduction. The other way to add money to super is by making a non-concessional contribution. It's also called an after-tax contribution because the contribution is paid out of your own pocket after your employer has withheld tax. For example, Eve wants to add money to her super fund. She has saved $4,000 over the past year in a bank account. Eve contributes the $4,000 to the super fund, but does not claim a tax deduction. So why would someone make an after-tax contribution to super? There are often tax advantages to adding extra money to super from your own pocket. In addition, you may be able to contribute more money in one go. Whichever way you decide to add money to super, it's important to remember that you give your super fund your tax file number. And remember that there are yearly caps on the amount you can add to super. And if you go over them, you may be required to pay more tax. Finally, you should consider getting professional advice from an accountant or financial advisor.